is be yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn.
on the dance floor. And These you pandas never know are what here I to party. everybody welcome in for bocw sunday smackdown big night intercontinental championship on the line in the main event got hardcore staltar coming your way mid-show two never before seen wrestling match types for bocw on the card tonight we will start down the road toward paper or toward a tag team championships in the next week or so and we will settle phil's big wheel among other things uh, a couple updates everyone's abilities were tweaked over the past couple days um we had cause come in over the summer to really care back then where people were coming in with like massive high level abilities everyone's been brought down so that there's an even playing field with respect to the store so if you um if you bought an ability you kept it uh everyone was given brawler um you cannot buy fan favorite so everyone has been kind of put on an even playing field uh, for what's been purchased. Everybody's abilities that have been requested are in, including uh, the Dirty One's victory over Eddie on Thursday night. Um, we are saying goodbye to Triple Seven, Stefa Jane, and who was the other one? I had it written down for a reason. Adam Rage. 
they have departed uh, to the inactive roster, which takes us down to 43 active wrestler, active characters. There's a couple NPCs in there as well. Um, but on that note, let's fire this thing off and get going. Sunday SmackDown. And that first hardcore Staltar championship raffles on the line. If you want in that match, it's exclamation point HCSC in chat. Cost you 100 tributes. If, after, if they don't show up within a month, they get deleted. That's the way the rules work. They want to become active again, they have to reapply. Yes, you are hardcore champ, so if you win Dr. Death, you can pick a challenger. Dirty little hamster, thank you for the host. We would champ in the house. I don't, I don't care what you say, Fixer. I'm still charging you an arm and a leg for Dr. Long. Death, you want to hold on to that? See who else gets in, or do you want to pick now? All right, Doc's going to hold. All right, you will pick last then. We have Nedge and Peace Rebellion kicking things off in match number one. I don't, I don't care what you say, Fixer. I'm still charging <laughs> you an arm and a leg for car washing. Doc just doubling down. Nedge on the left, Peace Rebellion on the right. You got a minute 30 <laughs> to place your bet starting Jesus right now. Min 10, max 250. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Made a ton of progress in God of War this weekend. Trying to get it knocked out before week from Tuesday. The Waggy with the host, thank you very much. I'm not saying a toe back to the shirt, but it might be. I'm gonna give Waggy a shout out, I'd appreciate it. Waggy has a really weird dragon character and his really weird e fed he runs. A good guy. All right, DLH. That guy right there. That guy. That guy. Give Dwaggy a follow if you don't mind. How's it going, dude? What's up, Dustin? Dustin was last playing other because he was testing. How goes the life without slob, my friend? At Trader Joe's and he checks in. Match number one. And here comes Nigellin, fresh off buying a new ability. Will it make the difference for Nedge as she comes down for one on one with Peace Rebellion? We've been lacking on Kay's the host. We've been lacking on the 1v1 women's matches. We're going to try to make a change in that department a little bit. Still the wheel champion. Kay's in the house. Pretty one thinking of the host as well. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock. Dustin. Nedge in the ring. Dude, don't ever apologize for not being here, Case. Mads in the house as well. People have lives. Go a month without seeing you, we're gonna start worrying. Here she is, where's Jamal? Because Peace Rebellion is making her way down the ramp. One half of your tag team champion, Peace Punks. They will be defending that belt soon. Yep, they're blue. Dead. Be dead. 
So if the buttons go down tonight, let me know. Uh, mixed play API has been garbage for about a week now. Uh, it's not on my side. It is a, it is the bot connection to the API is screwing up. So they do go down. But let me know and I'll bounce them. I want to say fix or lord, so I look at chat. Not right this second. Ninja one corner, piece are belling in the others. We get ready to go with match number one of BSW Sun Smackdown. Here we go. They meet in the middle of the ring. Ned comes in with a face breaker. Sends Peace Rebellion down to the canvas. Now Nedge rolls in, sweeps the leg out from underneath there, and Peace is down on the canvas. Again, Nedge goes to work, but Peace Rebellion with a quick counter puts the gel down on the canvas. And now punching her. Peace picks her up, slams her down near the far side ropes, and Peace Rebellion in business takes the arm, slams the elbow down. Nigellin quick back to her feet. And Peace Rebellion punches away. Dr. Death, thank you the host. And PR goes right over to the left side corner and kicks away at Nigellin. And now Peace Rebellion backs up to the turnbuckles, stands up, waits for Nedge to get up. Oh, that was not much of a kick. Peace Rebellion says Nedge down, and then she jumps, hits the canvas. Nedge was already on her way out of the ring. Nedge quickly comes back in. One jab lands. Now she grabs Peace Rebellion and whips her to the near side. Back to her feet, Peace Rebellion. Nedge goes in, grabs her. But there's a knee, and now grabbing the arm, just flips Peace Rebellion over. Nedge can control the match early on here. Now locking up Peace Rebellion underneath her chin. But Peace Rebellion quick to get out of that. Backs off, but Nedge. Grabs her by the back of her blonde hair, takes her over the near side ropes, and lays her on the top rope, and then pulls back and sends Peace Rebellion backwards toward the BOCW logo. Now, Ned jumps over, up in the air, off the top rope, goes Nigellin, smashing down on Peace Rebellion, and Ned in control. How's it going, dude? Bet pulls 800 tributes if you want to type exclamation point gamble and get in house. Get some monies. Peace Rebellion in the near side corner, now whipped all the way over. Ned runs over, jumps, oh, and just. Tumbles are back, and Peace Rebellion in trouble. Nedge all the way at the bottom of the power rankings, but showing up for this match. Nedge, no, reverses that as well, and Peace Rebellion doesn't know how to handle Nigellin. She's too quick. Nigellin rolls Peace Rebellion over left side far corner and just stands and waits. We're going to do this while we wait here because I can see a little bit of skippage. Right back to the action we go. Peace Rebellion now with the reversal. Slams Nedge down. Peace Rebellion up in the air with a nasty drop kick back flip and Nedge is stunned in the ring. She doesn't know what hit her and Peace Rebellion goes outside underneath the apron looking for something. Queen Death takes some 1100 tributes. The table comes out of the hands of Peace Rebellion and in the ring it goes. And now the spinning kick lands and Nagellan falls back middle of the ring and Peace Rebellion picks that table up, sets it up. This is not a table match. She's just looking to do damage. As Nigellin is grabbed and flipped over by Peace Rebellion, who's now taking command of the match. And Nedge thrown into the table by Peace Rebellion. And oh, the big drop kick in the table just shatters. Nedge went right through it, and Peace is not done. She goes back outside and says, They have any more tables under here? <laughs> Seemed to work pretty well. Out comes the pool cue. Nigellin in trouble in the ring. Peace Rebellion comes in, swing and lands that one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I think that one missed two. And she's at the hell with that pool cue, throwing that one down. Peace Rebellion kicks away. Nigellin down in the ring. The somersault up in the air. She goes, slamming down on Nedge. And Peace Rebellion goes for the win and probably has it here. On a two count, Nigellin not done. And Peace Rebellion can't believe it. Peace goes outside. Now up on the top turnbuckle quickly. Nigellin still down in the ring. Peace Rebellion takes her time. Oh my goodness. Just stomps Nedge. Boots first. Goes for the pin. And Peace Rebellion. After trying to find her feet for a minute, she did. And planted them right in the middle of Nedge. Peace Rebellion walks away your winner. Peace, your winner, Jamal, Rocket, Sweet Dave, Mork, and Dustin. Take your tributes. We're going to move into hardcore 
raffle number two. Dr. Death already with a pick in his pocket. He is the champion. If you want it, it's HCSE in chat. Here we go. Jamal Mork, Rocket, the Dirty One, Fixer, Sweet Dave, Kays. Spanky and Squirrel in there. I will sell the seat for 1,000 tributes. You uh, you dominated her at the end, Peace Rebellion. Welcome in. There's no tribute transfer between wrestlers. There isn't uh, a Discord lineup tonight. Just because I'm keeping kind of what's going on a little bit of a secret. 15 seconds left to get a hardcore giveaway. DLH got in. I mean, you know the the standard stuff like someone challenged Daddy. Fixer gets in hardcore. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the first one to move into bet number two. Kay's on the left challenging Eddie for a chance at a tier two ability. We have 90 seconds starting right now. Kay's with more bets on him. Now it's even. Now you with the most money though, not a whole lot of bets taking place. People are stingy now that there's stuff to buy. Still three and three, Eddie with the most money. Fifty seconds left in your bet window. K's calling out Eddie, Honey Badger. Welcome in. Honey Badger is Draven. Think of the host. Send this one to journey elsewhere, for we have need of sterner stock. And here he is, the Phil's Big Wheel Champion, defending that belt later on tonight. Lost Hardcore on Thursday night to Dr. Death. Case called out Eddie. Pretty much split down the middle. Eddie with six bets on him. K's with five. Well, it's about Tree City. Stalt are happy. Giving out 350 tributes to everybody. Clean as a whistle. K's makes his way down the ramp. Looking to take on Eddie. Not on the enemies list. A loss here would put him there. A win. Gives him an ability. The belt will not go around his shirt. It just says the hell with the shirt. He's too big. You can't take my untethered shirt, won't go around. You said make me big, dude. The big Irish man. Kay's in the ring. Can he get it done? Eddie's been on a losing streak. Sixers making fun of me. But here he is, amped up, ready to go. Our own Eddie the Head looking to make a meal out of K's. But he shits Lucky Charms. <laughs> Got a feeling tonight, Eddie's night. We'll see. Only one name on the back of that shirt, it's Dustin. Eddie 
interrupting Dustin's match on Thursday night. No. Yeah, Dustin did lose his arms. K's and Eddie. Ding, ding. Here we go. Eddie gets the K's first with the punches. And now quickly gets behind him. Suplexing K's down to the corner. K's doesn't know what hit him to start this thing off. And Eddie, not letting up, goes over. Starts punching down on K's, the Phil's Big Wheel champion. Eddie, with a solid punch, just drops K's. And K's in trouble early. Eddie comes in with the knees. And now the elbows. And the running knee drops K's and Eddie in control of the match early on. Welcome back, more. Eddie with the roundhouse again drops K's down. K's hasn't made a move and Eddie goes for the pin. <laughs> K's gets destroyed. Those without the stomach K's gets annihilated by Eddie the Head who is tired of losing. Uh, we're going to have to check if Eddie just broke the record. That was pretty quick. Wow. He was an unchanged wrestler from Thursday night. I didn't tweak him at all. Kay's losing to Eddie, picking the wrong time to piss off the monster. Jamal, the dirty one. Kay's bet against himself. Peace, Rebellion, Sweet Dave, and Squirrel all taking home tributes. Kay's just dead in the ring. Doesn't know what hit him. It's because you've been on K, that's probably true. Third entry in hardcore coming your way, HCSC in you chat. Endure this loss. Yeah, Dwaggy. It. <laughs> that button does not hurt people who have been here for five hours. I don't know. Rocket Spanky. I was uh, whisper. I was just uh, giving you the support. I really wasn't watching. I had other stuff going on in the background. Twenty-five seconds left. Well, Rocket, I, Spanky, Jamal, Kays, Draven, so Squirrel, Mork, DLH, Sweet Dave, and the Dirty One all in the match. Pool. Let's see. Fifteen seconds left. We see who gets in. I'm already in there. Doctor Death has a pick in hand. That's what we do here, man. Whisper. Uh, we won't know until after. I'll have to get the stopwatch out. One second left. Who's it going to be? K's with a chance to reclaim hardcore. But here we go. Tornado tag. This will determine who rolls in against Peace Punks. Metalocalypse already losing. It comes down to Widowmakers and Daughters of Athena. Already almost at the halfway point here. 90 seconds. You have Min 10 Max 250 coming at you right now. And he felt bad. You have just been thunderstruck. Catching some nasty lag on my car tonight. Let the organ the notes ring out from the abbey. Nedge in the house. The sisters are gathering. Nedge had a match to start the show. It didn't go that well for her. It might be a fat... Well, no, there's no way it's a fast night. There's two matches in here that will take a while. Has my mouth become wussier? But Nedge, your ability is in place as requested. Welcome back to Waggy. You have now discovered the notice me button for those of you who don't have five hours. Not that button. Nobody welcomes you. See, Kays is five hours plus. That button doesn't hurt him. That's that's blueberry bait, Dwaggy. But here we go for a chance at Peace Pumps. Widowmakers versus Daughters of Athena. Daughters of Athena have been there the last two times. And Widowmakers get in their way. 
<laughs> bets are closed. Daughters of Athena, nine bets placed. Widowmakers with five. Heavy money on Daughters of Athena. But here are the Widowmakers, Hunter and Queen Death. Madness, our old friend. Can they get it done? They've had a chance to get into this match a few times, and the Daughters of Athena have stood in their way each time. And then the Daughters of Athena have gone on to lose to the Peace Punks every single time. These punks have held that tag team title since July, since it was started. Will this be the cycle that ends it? The Titans have been falling in BOCW lately. <laughs> I think I bet on DOA so they would lose. Makers. Get it done. We'll find out. Queen Death in chat. Titan stuff. That's weird. I mean, Mads came out and destroyed Peace Rebellion pretty handily at, right after uh, Bash of the Beast. Music in the house. Think of the host, my friend. It's making me worry a little that she's still pretty tough to beat. Here they are, the Daughters of Athena, for the very first time walking into the ring with the women's title is Ash. Walking next to the woman she took it away from. <laughs> Daughters of Athena looking to yet again get back in the ring with Peace Punks. Action Iron teammate counseling. <laughs> Ash and Mads pairing off Tornado Tag against Hunter and Queen Death. And Queen Death gets the Mads quick, but no, Mads throws her down. Hunter, Ash near side slamming her down. Now Mads far side corner gets her knee twisted by Queen Death and is thrown down. Hunter on the near side ropes gets kicked and now twisted and slammed down by Ash. Queen Death has Mads on one knee, tries to go up over her shoulders. Maz comes back with a kick to the midsection, but Queen Death comes back with an elbow of her own. Now look at this from Ash, near side, choking up on Hunter and slamming her down to the canvas. Queen Death backs Mads in that left side corner as Hunter throws the arms aside, punches at Ash, and now the big forearm just drops her near right side. Queen Death up on the second rope, telling Maz to get up as Hunter drops out her own legs and face breaks Ash. Mads takes the boots from Queen Death. Lands middle of the ring. Ash comes back with a knee to the midsection of Hunter near side. Up on the shoulder goes Queen Death. Up and around and down goes Mads. Hunter with a big reversal. Now picking up Ash as Queen Death. Again slamming Mads down to the canvas. And Widowmaker's in control. But no, there's Mads with a leg sweep of her own. Putting Queen Death down. Hunter though going for the pin near side. Mads turns around. Does see it. Mads tries to stop Hunter from going after the women's champion, Ash, but Queen Death rolls in with a big drop kick, and that one stuns Mads back to the ropes, and Queen Death picking up where she left off. But Mads reverses that. No, Queen Death comes back in, backflipping, putting the legs over the shoulders of Mads and dropping her again. Hunter in trouble. Queen Death barely got in there with a kick, and now Hunter's going to break up what Ash has going on, sending her back to the ropes. Queen Death there to pick up the pieces from her partner, but Ash says, I don't think so, and just slams. Queen Death down to the canvas. Mads back in the corner by Hunter. Comes back. 
punching. And now just slams Hunter down to the canvas. Queen Death puts Ash up on her shoulders. Oh, I need to fix that. Reminder to fix that. It should have worked. I don't know why it didn't work. It's random user values here. That's why, idiot. Queen Death on the leg of Ash near side. Maz going for the pin on Hunter. Queen Death breaks out of her animation with Ash. Breaks up that pin attempt. And then throws Ash to the far side corner. Yeah, wah, wah. I'll fix it. Now Queen Death lining up Ash for the crotch face. Like Runs in and lands it. Ash's head goes off the turnbuckles. Hunter back to her feet at the hands of Mads. Mads rolls her over near side corner, but Hunter from her butt comes back with the elbow counter to Mads' face. Up on the shoulders goes Hunter. Slams Mads down near side. Ash with the suplex of Queen Death on the right side, and then she slips. What was that? Ash not happy with her footwear, apparently. Had a little bit of a temper tantrum over the right-hand side. Now picks Queen Death up. Mads, middle of the ring, picking up Hunter. As Ash runs across, throws Queen Death down. Hunter reverses Mads and throws her down in the middle of the ring. And now Hunter kicking away as Ash makes a big jump off the ropes. Off the near side ropes. Ducks under off the far side ropes. Come back, and now she's all over Queen Death. Ash up in the air, and Queen Death stunned. She's down in the ring as Hunter continues to kick away at Mads near side. And Ash celebrates. Has Matt been in the ring? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe before the show. Now Ash lines up the booty backflip. And that one lands on Queen Death. Mad still down at the hands of Hunter. And Ash on her way over. Tried to jump and grab Hunter, but missed. Hunter again gets the best of Mad, slamming her down. Queen Death back to her feet. Grabbing Ash. Throwing her to the near side corner. A pin attempt from Hunter. And on the two count, Mad's able to get out. Again, what's on the line here is a chance at Peace Punks for the title. Over the shoulders of Ash goes Queen Death, breaking her neck. Mads stunned again with a face breaker across the knees of Hunter. Now Queen Death goes for the win with Mads out of it. Oh, that was almost a three count. Ash barely kicking out. Mads just coming to her senses near side. Now Ash back to her feet with a counter to the midsection of Queen Death. Hunter, no, ready for Mads. Another face breaker reversal. Queen Death in the clutches of Ash as Hunter is slammed down by Mads. And now both members of Widowmaker is down and Mads goes for the pin. And just barely a two count. Hunter able to kick out. Ash again sets up the booty backflip. Slams down into Queen Death. Hunter and Ash both, or Mads and Ash both going after Hunter. Now Ash has Hunter, takes her away from the pin attempt, rolls her over. Queen Death able to get out of that pin for Mads. And now the daughters of Athena, Ascension, Ascension, whatever, Ascending. I can't say the word right now. Oh, there goes Ash up off the second rope. A backflip with a spin lands. Hunter getting pinned as Queen Death is on the shoulder of Mads. Queen Death taking off the top turnbuckle. Ascendant, there it is, Ascendant. Up in the air goes Queen Death. Big drop goes. She lands in the middle of the ring. Hunter flipped over by Ash. Ash is exhausted. Queen Death goes right back to work on Mads. Ash rolls in, breaks up that pin attempt. Now Ash kicking away at Queen Death in the middle of the ring. As Mads tries to get back to her feet, Hunter on one knee. Now Hunter back to her senses. Ash kicks again, and Hunter catches Ash. But Ash going to squirm out of that. And drop Hunter down to the canvas as Mads waits for Queen Death to get to her feet. Queen Death... Up on the shoulders. And slammed down by Mads. Ash takes Hunter and throws her off the ropes. And Daughters of Athena looking strong right here. But the action on the far side broke up the pin attempt. Mads couldn't even get a one count. And Queen Death takes advantage from her backside. Kicks Mads back and away. Now in the corner. Sky high goes Queen Death. Plants her tennis shoes in the middle of Mads' chest. Oh, and that was some weird physics. Ash and Hunter sort of skip through what Mads and Queen Death were doing. Hunter stuns Ash, now runs in on her. But Ash ready with a counter as Mads throws Queen Death down to the canvas. Now with the kick, Hunter rolls in. Ash says, I don't think so. And Hunter says, yes, I do think so with a jumping spin kick. That one lands and Ash is stunned by it. And Hunter continues to do her work. Mads from a county away misjudges the distance and slams down on nothing in the middle of the ring. 
Now Hunter goes to the pin on Ash with Mads back to her feet. Quickly to her senses, turns around and breaks with the pin attempt. Holds back the punch though. Hunter not interested in Mads, goes for the knee, lands it in the back of Ash. Ash, ready for Hunter on the way in. She slammed down, Ash in the middle. Kicks down Hunter as Maz goes for the pin. And on the two count, Queen Death kicking out. Ash swings and misses. Hunter's right there to pick her up on the return side. And Ash slammed down. Funny Zero, thank you for the follow. Sledge hammer. Sledge hammer. Hunter and Ash both dead near side. Queen Death trying to get up on the apron edge. But look at that. Queen Death punched off the apron by Mads. Hunter trying to get back to her feet. It's Tribute Shook. Ash still the clutches of Hunter in the middle of the ring. Mads kicking away at Queen Death, keeping her occupied. But Ash needs help in the ring. Hunter grabs her, twists, and takes Ash back down to the canvas. Queen Death thrown in the barricade wall by Maz, and now she tries to get in the ring in time to break it up, but no help needed actually as Ash kicking out. <laughs> now Queen Death in the ring, caught Jesus Maz with the back Christ. turn, rolls in. Hunter jumps, grabs Ash, plants her face off the shins, and now she rolls into the corner, puts the shins into Maz, and Widowmaker stand tall in the ring. Queen Death trying to get Maz back to her feet. Hunter kicks and misses as Maz is thrown far side corner by Queen Death, and now a pin attempt. From Hunter, the ref took a minute to notice it. And on the two count, Ash kicks out. Queen Death goes off the ropes, locks up the neck of Mads, and flips her down to the mat. Ash being worked by Hunter near right side. Mads thrown back to that corner by Queen Death, who tracks her down. Mads ready with the kick. Kicks Queen Death away. Hunter trying to fold Ash up like a pretzel near side, right by the ropes. Kicks instead as Mads takes Queen Death back to her feet. Up in the air, going Queen Death. Hunter rolls in with a drop kick to the back of a seated Ash, and she is stunned. Mads exhausted. Mads goes for the pin. Hunter got out of that move weirdly and then went right for Mads and broke up that pin attempt. Mads waiting for Queen Death to get up again. Dooms. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the SCW. Now Mads down. Queen Death stunned in the ring. Ash waits and watches. No, she grabs Queen Death. Hunter now kicking away at Mads. Queen Death slammed down. Ash goes for the pin. Can Hunter get up in time? Ash reverses it. Hunter kicks that pin attempt away. Now up around the neck of Ash she goes, lifting her up in the air and slamming her down. Mads trying to get back to her feet. Right side ropes. Ash by herself with Hunter. Hunter's been on fire in this match, but Ash has something to say about it. Grabbing her counter, slamming her down to the mat. Queen Death trying to get up. Now Ash punches Hunter. Hunter grabbed. Comes back with elbows to the face of Ash as Mads walks back into the fray. Ash dropped by Hunter. Queen Death back to her feet as Mads punches. Grabbing Queen Death, but she comes back with elbows to the face of Mads. Mads, though, ready for her on the way in. Puts Queen Death down to the mat. Does Hunter see it? Didn't need to. Queen Death gets out, but still at the mercy of Mads. Right side as Ash is slammed down by Hunter. Beats Rebellion with 1,200 tributes. One of the card match. Look at this from Mads. Slamming down Queen Death. Now Mads went for Hunter, but Hunter with the better. That goes with a pin. Ash to her feet. And Mads on the two count. Kicks out. Ash and Hunter left side far corner as Queen Death gets up on the ropes and celebrates. Mads down in the ring. Rise up. Ash taken down back. by Hunter. Widowmaker still in control. Ash back to her feet. Hunter goes in, but Ash comes back with a facebreaker counter. Mads thrown into the near side corner by Queen Death, and Hunter's thrown over the ropes by Ash. Ash, look at this. Runs, jumps off the top rope, comes slamming down on Hunter outside the ring as Mads is stunned in the ring by Queen Death. Queen Death on the second rope, but Mads, no, does not counter that as Queen Death puts her down in the ring. And now Queen Death unopposed, going for the pin. Ash tied up with Hunter. And the three count wins it. Widowmakers will see... Peace Punks for the title. Thank you, Tributes winners. We're going to do one thing here real quick to try to fix what's going on with some of the... Uh
the stuff that's screwing up, we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of that off that overlay, and we come right back to wrestling. Thought it was a sure thing. They've won that match a bunch of times. Dr. Vanilla, what's up? Welcome to BSCW. We are at match number three. We have one, two, three spots picked. Yo, T, what's up, man? Welcome back in. We have to do another giveaway, raffle away for Hardcore Stalltar Entry. K's Lord High Fixer and Dr. Death with an entry in his pocket as champ. You want in? Get in. Welcome back. How's it going, dude? Forty seconds left. Mork Rocket, the Dirty what? One, Spanky Music, and no, Sweet Dave in. Collection. Dr. Vanilla, we're just getting started, man. That's match three of seven tonight. We're going to do Phil's Big Wheel here in just a second. Then I have to set up the second half of the show, and then we will get rolling. We have Hardcore Staltar, Phil's Big Wheel, the Intercontinental Championship on the line tonight. Seven matches. Yeah, that was number three. Eight, sorry. Eight matches. Eight, eight, eight. DLH gets in. Seven on Thursdays, eight on Sundays. 10 seconds left in the bet pool. Screw you, Dirty. You know what time it is. Dirty Little Hands for the Heavyweight Champion getting into hardcore. One more to do, I think. Yep, one more. Please hit red, says Rocket. So right now we have three spins we have to do on Phil's big wheel. We also have another hardcore stall star giveaway to do to get that last wrestler in. So I'm gonna try to do something here I usually don't do. I'm gonna move us into the next show in the screen you can't see right now. Dr. Vanilla, thank you for the follow. So let's go in and edit this show. All right. Their little hamster gets in on that. We have one more hardcore stall star raffle entry to do. We're gonna do that right now, just in case we need the raffle for this. I'm going to start setting up some of these matches while we do this. Fix has the biggest pie slice. Actually, no. Uh, I am tied for the biggest pie slice. Thirty-seven seconds left to get in. Don't forget you have to type something else before you can type HCSC twice in a row. Rocket taking on Squirrel in the Intercontinental Championship match in the main event tonight. We get that one set up now. 20 seconds left to get in. Ten seconds left. Who's it going to be? How long do I stream normally for a day? Um, I usually stream a show usually two to two and a half hours. Last person in is Mork. Doc, I need you to pick from who's in chat for that fifth spot. Mention me and let me know in chat, please. Another match you can lose. But here we go. Spin number one. Take on Cage for Phil's Big Wheel. Coming your way right now. Dustin gets the tag team love. Dustin gets in the hard court and on Doc's ticket. Number one is Squirrel in Phil's Big Wheel. Number two coming your way. Who's number two? Kays. Can't be Kays. He's champ. You get to pick somebody, Kays. Kays, you can pick somebody. Let me know who it is. We're going to spin one more time. Got to be in chat. What's the wheel for? Dr. Vanilla, we have a championship called Phil's Big Wheel. This wheel... Well, I'll explain it. The pie slices on the wheel are every 30 minutes the wrestler watches, it gets bigger per week. And so your pie comes up on the wheel, you get, and if it selects you, get into the Phil's Big Wheel Championship match on Sundays. One more spin here. Cage has got a pick. See if it matters. Green, we get up to a six-man match. Red, we get a 20-man Royal Rumble. But it's going to be Squirrel who can't go twice and can't pick. He's not champ. Who's the itty litty bitty babe? One of those is Clown. He only has a one pie slice. Dr. Death. Raffle off the spot. All right, so 
We have Dr. Death being chose by K's in spot two, and the third spot gets raffled off. That is in place of Ash because you can't always watch Ash. It's women's champion. We will raffle it off. We're just going to use HCSC again. You, here we go. Under tributes, don't forget to type something else. Oh, let me reset this. You should all be able to get in now. Rocket Music Jamal. DLH gets in. Spanky gets in. The Dirty One Squirrel, you're already in, so that one does not going to count if you win. Dustin, Sweet Dave, this is for the women's one, right? Yeah, this is for the one that the women's title would have been in. The last spot in Phil's Big Wheel. That's how that mechanic works as long as Ash is champion. 17 seconds left. Let's just hope it's not Squirrel. Got to be something else. Can't be HCSC twice in a row. Jamal gets into Phil's big wheel. Alrighty. So let's fire this back over to... There we go. Now let's get the second half of the show set up here. It's not that to start. So match number, That's let's make right. sure we don't have a promo in here. Suckers. We don't. All right. So match number one in the second half of the show is going to be a triple threat match between Toofy, Ulti, I'll leave him in his jacket. And Chris. Nope. Yep. We'll accept that one. Match number two in the second half is Hardcore Staltar. We will take a break for me to walk around after match number four. Just so I can get a drink and go to the bathroom and stuff. But we have one match before that. I already have the Intercontinental Championship match set up. So we have to do Hardcore... And then those other two. Okay, so if you guys need to get a drink or the bathroom, walk around, this is an opportunity for you to do so. This will take me about, probably about four minutes to get the other three matches set up. So this one is hardcore. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. So this is six man. In the first of the matches that we've never Another seen before, first blood for hardcore. Cast aside like first a person selected torch. was Dustin in the spot that Dr. Death won, then it was Lord High Fixer in number two. Then it's K's. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. Then it is DLH, the heavyweight champion in there. Then it's more. <laughs> That's not funny. That hurts me. And then the defending champion, Dr. Death. Not for that one. It is for that one. And then we have an amazing other match going to happen in spot number three. Never done this before in BOCW. Once it decides to load us back, I'm going to have a drink, you know, while the game takes a sweet ass time. Xbox One X power here, by the way. Yeah, well, you know, didn't have the PC whenever I started this nonsense. Third match. It is an eight-man tag team. The bar is open. So there are two teams on each side. Fixer on one side with his partner, Laydown Clown. And who's with them? It is 
Jamal, and Lyndon SG. That is one team. They will take on the Mosh Potatoes. Nope, not triple seven. He's uh not in the he's in the list as inactive. That will be Mork. And he's like, what the what is going on, Money Man Will? So right down the middle is a split. On the left side's one team, on the right side's another team. The winning team no faces allowed. each other on Thursday for the title shot. What you'll be betting on in this match is who gets the pin. Is that Kung Fu Panda? Kinda. It's made by Permacorp. <laughs> you guys didn't see that match coming. I know that's a fact. One more match to set up and we'll get this thing fired off. I am the People's Panda. Thank you very much, says Dr. Death. You're betting on who pins. Yes. Fourth match. That is going to be Phil's big wheel. They go to back to the cage. Do, do, do. Fatal four-way. Custom matches. Back to the Corral of Calamity. So we got Squirrel in there. And then the wheel selected Dr. Death. The hardcore champion getting in there. And then we have Jamal off the bid in from the raffle and defending champion Kays. Let's get Phil's big wheel on the line. This is Kays' first defense of Phil's big wheel. Looks at his middle finger. <laughs> All right, so let me get those two bet pools set up real quick so that we have a smooth show. And we're going to fire off the second half for you guys. Just scroll through it real quick. Make sure it looks right. We have Squirrel and Rocket for the Intercontinental Championship in the main event. Corral of Calamity for Phil's Big Wheel right before that. The massive two-team, eight-man tag team match. Six-man BOCW first blood, first time ever for hardcore. We start things off with Toofy, Ulti, and Chris in the second half. Here we go. Yep. It is pretty awesome. All right, let me get these set up as we roll in. Match number three was them. Match number four is there. Match number five, Dr. Death, Fixer. K's, DLH, Mork, and Dustin. Save that one. Get a match seven. K's squirrel. What a big muscle. Oh, oh, it burns. Who is under my kilt? Burned. I'm not falling. That's new. Has my mouth become wussier? Ah. We get the second half of BOCW rolling. We will take a short break for me to walk around after this one. But let's get the show fired up here. Match number four coming your way. Yep, right there, Dr. Vanilla. Thank you very much, Mork. That is how you get in. Send this one to Journey Elsewhere. Or we have is. Rid of sterner stock. Well, we are rolling with match number four. For those of you who are lurking, come on back just for one match until I can get a bathroom break. We'll get this one done first and get halfway done with the show. Alti on the far left, Toofy in the middle, Chris on the far right, Welcome one back. minute, you 30 seconds, min 10, max 250. Oh, as long as you have 10 tributes, you can bet. Here we go. Shook, um, I'm not sure if cause or cross-platform, I run the league off of Xbox. If you want more in-depth information on how BOCW works, just type exclamation point BOCW rules and follow that link.
And yes, the process of getting in is kind of set up to be a trial to make sure you can read. There's quite a few rules. It's how we keep things running smoothly. No one has to contend with Ash. I'm hers forever. 35 seconds left. Two in the middle. Alfie, number two on the left. Chris, number three on the right. Uh, all one word, Dr. Bidon. Yeah, I know you didn't read the rules, case. No one does. It's okay. Later on, I say this is how something works, and you're like, what the hell? Because I read the rules. Um, I don't really watch WWE anymore. I started probably in the mid 80s and stopped in the late 90s, but here he is, leader of the LWO, and the only member. Who's he gonna owe me in tributes? Glory ass, it's Toofy. Who the fucking sucking? 31 tributes in the swear jar. Jesus Christ. That's what everyone keeps saying, Squirrel. They gotta talk it out. Toofy, um, I mean, Toofy's been taking a little bit of a break. I saw him tweet today that he's gonna get back uh, up and streaming. And it still is funny, especially because it, it nicks random people now. Toofy wrestles with it just to get it out on the stage. What are you talking about? The mess, that's one way of saying it. Number one Toofy fan is Draven. Toofy, an hour and a half later, getting into the ring. What, what a quote to come up. Um, my favorite wrestler of all time is Goldberg. But will we go ahead and read that thing they posted earlier about WWE? We don't really talk a lot of wrestling in BOCW because there we go, Mark. Thank you very much. That paragraph. Yep. Proof you didn't read. Go ahead and give us a read, though, Wooly Throne. The mods don't have a lot of patience if they post the command, give you the information you asked for, and you don't read it. Because I've told them to not have patience for that. Toof in the ring. I'm working a mood. That's never good. Here comes the ultimate redhead, Ulti. We've been playing Spider Man on his stream. <laughs> Do you believe? says Alti as he gets in the ring to face Toofy and Chris. There you go, Dr. Vanilla. That's what you're looking for. Pimpin' ain't easy. Here comes one half the alcohol hooligans. Chris. And broken. See, a few minutes left. Cast aside like a spent torch. Pimpin' ain't easy. Chris on his way down to the ring. Bully thrown. Don't ask me any more questions about real wrestling. I don't know if I need to say it any other way. Welcome Thank you very much. Nah, it was coming. I said read what's in chat. People have answered this question. We don't have patience for it. I literally answered the question verbally and you asked it again. Pimpin' ain't easy. Chris in the ring to take on Toofy and Ulti. As we get the second half of BOCW Sunday Smackdown rolling.
And here we go. Ulti gets the Toofy first. Punches once. Toofy grabbed by Ulti and then no counters. Climbs down the backside. Kicks away the back of the knee. Now Ulti up in the air. Toofy slams him down and Chris is happy to be here. Celebrates on the ropes as Toofy kicks away at the ultimate redhead. Sweeps out that leg nicely and Ulti goes down. Toofy turns around. Now look at this. A one hand locks the legs around Chris's neck. Puts him down. And Toofy going for a quick pin with Ulti down. Toofy not even a one count. Kicks out. Now Chris stunned by that. Toofy rolls in, but Chris comes in with the elbow counter. Now Alti goes in. Chris breaks up what was going on. Toofy gets destroyed by Chris, and now Chris throws Alti off the far side ropes. He comes back and slams down the ultimate redhead. Chris says, job's done, dust his hands, and goes for the pin. Alti on a two count. Chris continues to go to work as Toofy gets back to his feet, but Alti back to his feet, comes back with a counter uppercut on Chris. Now the forearm stuns Chris in the face. Toofy back in the near side corner, waits. Chris up on the shoulders of the ultimate redhead, wiggles out of that, and slams Ulti down to the BOCW logo. Toofy, far side right corner, waits for Chris, grabs him on the way in, throws him off the left side ropes. Chris on the way back, kicked in the face by Toofy, and down the canvas he goes. The link was already in there once. It's on a timeout, uh, Vanilla. Now Toofy lifts Chris up. Chris tried to reverse in the air, couldn't. Toofy slams him down, kicks. I think that misses as Ulti gets up to the apron edge. Toofy up on the second rope, jumps, slams down. I think that hurt Toofy as Chris was trying to get to his feet. They're both hurt, and Ulti goes underneath the apron, left side, looking for something to play with. Now Chris back in the clutches of glory ass. Toofy has his back broken on the knees. A table comes out. Is this table tag? I forget. Table match? I can't remember. No, they're trying to pin each other, so no. Toofy has Ulti down. Chris trying to get back to his feet. And now Toofy off the ropes comes in looking for Ulti. Ulti still grabbing his back. Chris exhausted by the right side ropes. Toofy again kicks Ulti in the face. Ulti can't get up. Another boot stomp from Toofy. And now Chris recovered. Grabs Toofy from the side and slams him down. And Chris control. Toofy looked like he wanted to take a break but couldn't get out of the ring. And now Toofy grabs a celebrating Chris off the ropes. Pulls him back down to the canvas. Ulti back to his feet. Toofy goes right back to work there. Throws him to the far side corner on the table. Toofy rolls in. Chris jumped. Ulti comes back with a counter elbow in Toofy's face. As Chris works the arms free. Toofy's kicked down by Ulti. Now Ulti finds Chris not paying much attention. Grabs him. Takes him over the left side ropes. And just drops him face first off the top rope. Now that, that command will work, uh, Spank. There's a command in Discord as well. But it's on a cooldown. He's already used it once. Ulti off the rope, somersaults right into Chris's midsection, but Toofy was waiting for him. Kick, a kick, a kick, another kick. He backs Ulti all the way up to the near side ropes. Chris clutching his chest. Ulti put on the shins and knees of Toofy, and Toofy in control goes looking for Chris as Ulti goes outside the, break, look, outside the ring looking for a nap nap. Ulti with a spin kick that misses. Chris dodges it, rolls in with a punch. That one lands, and now he's right behind Toofy, grabbing him, slamming him down on Jordan Stahl's head. Now Chris goes for the pin. Ulti getting back to his feet. Can Ulti get there in time? Didn't need to as Toofy kicks out all on his own on a two count. Ulti celebrates being back in the ring as Ulti's drugged back to his feet by Chris. Now Chris punches, picks him up from behind, flips him over, lets him go, and Toofy slams down to the canvas. Ulti now off the ropes, goes looking for Chris. Chris thrown to the near side corner by Ulti. Ulti walks in with the big kick. That one drops Chris down to the turnbuckles, and Ulti's not done. He continues to kick, and now puts the boot to the throat of Chris. Toofy's still down. Chris rolls outside. He needs a break. And Toofy, who's been down a while, Ulti goes with the easy pin. Barely two counts, and Toofy kicks out, but still down. Chris trying to get to his feet outside. Toofy being locked up by Ulti in the ring. Underneath the neck, he goes. Pulling back. Is Toofy going to be able to get out? He was pretty exhausted. Mm. Chris still dazed. Toofy does get out. Sweeps the legs out from underneath Ulti. He's down on one knee. Now Toofy locks up the hand, brings him back for the pull in the arm bar, and Ulti's down. Chris back in the ring. Chris turns around. Toofy was on his way in, but Chris gets there first. Chris on the shoulders goes Toofy. Now Somersault slams down to the canvas, and Chris in control as Ulti starts to stir, and Toofy's hurt. Chris wastes no time, jumps off the ropes, knees into the midsection of Toofy. Now Chris goes for the pin with Ulti down. Ulti kicks Chris off at one and a half count. Ulti's still down. A knee from Chris misses as Toofy swings out from behind that one. And now Ulti rolls in with another spin kick. That one lands, and Chris goes down to the canvas. Ulti with a chance. No, with, sorry. Toofy with a chance to pin as Ulti trying to get back to his feet. Chris on a 2.2 .2 count kicks out. 
Alti comes in with a kick. That one misses as Chris gets out of the way. Tufi quick to reverse Chris, though. Kicks away at the back of the knee. Rolls up behind Chris, but Chris ready with his own elbow counter. Stuns Tufi back to the corner. Alti stands back. Far side left, near side left corner as Tufi picks Chris up and slams it down. And Chris needs another break. Tufi goes running. Tufi catches Alti, not paying attention. The boot to the face drops the redhead. But Alti. Not done yet. Comes back with a face breaker counter on Tufi. Now chops him back in the corner, kicking him. Down goes Tufi. Another kick from Alti, and Alti puts the boot to Tufi's neck as Chris sit up, sits up on the Mixer logo. Now, Alti picks up Tufi, slamming him down again on his back, and now Alti goes for the win with Chris trying to get to his feet. And Alti takes advantage of the demolishing of Tufi in that near corner and gets the job done before Chris can stand what? up. No, I don't want to see your pot collection. <laughs> Only two people picked Alti. Take your tributes, winners. 50 for Mork, 509 for Peace Rebellion. You could be a team for exactly one match. I mean, that makes it possible to have four men, four person stable matches, by the way. But I'm using it for a different purpose tonight. Cool. It's a long dock, Doc Vanilla. But uh, the short short of it is be here five hours, prove you kind of belong, and we go from there. Welcome back, more. Ulti says, believe in the ring with a win. All right. I'm going to take a break to go to the bathroom, get a drink, stretch my legs, because I promise everyone I will start doing that. So I'll be back in just a minute, everybody. Uh, get a drink if you haven't already. Also, stretch your legs if you have not gotten up. We go hell in a cell. First blood for hardcore Staltar Championship. 
from left to right, it's Mork, Kays, Aw Dustin, Lord High Fixer, the defending champion, Dr. Death, the People's Panda, and the heavyweight champion, Dirty Little Hamster. You have Min 10, Max 500 tributes with the belt on the line starting Welcome right now. Back. You may remain profane. This cable went the wrong way. Thank you. Dr. Death, Fixer, and Case picking up bets. Case betting bet on himself. DLH betting big on himself. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. You jerk. <laughs> the panda. Fan favorite. Dr. Death has fan favorite. So does Jamal. Because they are obviously chat favorites. I just gauge that by how people talk about wrestlers and give them that uh, that ability. That's how that works. The real life chat response to wrestlers. For instance, Matt had it. How the hell did Matt have fan favorite? Literally, no one likes him. No one likes me. All right, Mads likes Matt. But he's a heel. How can a heel be fan favorite? That's why you like him, because he's a heel. <laughs> Aw, Dawson, leader of the Mosh Potatoes, on his way into the ring for first blood hell in a cell for the Hardcore Stallstar Championship. That's just terrible. Button's still up, everybody. I keep hearing buttons getting pressed, so I assume they are. I know it's normally I wouldn't really care unless you guys wanted it up, but the store. I know this is some people's only chance to get the store stuff done. Yep. Dustin gets a bet from his mom. Nope, that didn't count because betting was closed. DLH, the heavy favorite, right next to Dr. Death. Both with three bets placed. Everyone else with one. The most money placed on the People's Panda with DLH right behind him. Then K's, Fixer, and Mork with 100 each. And Dustin with a 20 tribute bet. Some poor schlep is in business to make a lot of money if Dustin wins. So speaking of Lord High Fixer, here is the Unified Champion. Ultimate Hunter. I earned that fair and square, buddy. <laughs> yes, he did. Kilt day changed fixer. That look is the embodiment of a lot of generosity from the community. We raised $1,110 for Wounded Warriors in the run-up to Bash of the Beast. At the $700 mark, I had to wear a kilt on stream, and I continue to wear it in BOCW. Holy shit, what, how much we raised? A lot. Picture in the ring. This new magic broom is so amazing. And here he is, Phil's Big Wheel Champion, looking Those to reclaim hardcore after losing on. it on Thursday night to Dr. Death. Get a little bit Hunter. Yep. The 
the ball of Irish rage. Clean as a whistle. Here comes Kays. <laughs> How is the money situation going, actually? I haven't looked in a little while since the store started. Wow. There's some broke people in there. Outside of the two people who just don't spend their tributes, Sweet Dave and Mads at the top of the list. Matt hasn't been around to spend his. Tina had a stockpile and she's been absent. Rocket sitting on some. But no one really has enough to buy even a tier 2 ability right now. <laughs> yeah, well that's the idea. Play card games, bet tributes, try to make more back and get ahead of everybody. The economy is much more generous now than it was a week ago. Kay's in the ring. Fixer down the ramp as well. As is Dustin. Hey, Wesley Wolf in the house. What's up, my friend? People's Panda, Dr. Death, the Hardcore Staltar Champion, looking to defend it in Hell in a Cell, First Blood. <laughs> First Blood, well, <laughs> Dr. Death's the bleeder. First wrestler cut ends the match. Whoever cuts him wins and takes home hardcore. Will the Ks reclaim it? Can Dr. Death hold on to it despite his, his really, really, really soft dome? Mork on his way down to the ring. Yes, this is a first blood match, Mork. You know, with the people that pay attention, they, they get that information, but I repeat it knowing that there's people that just don't listen. Not saying that's you, Mork. Wow. <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> but his chat just gets on everyone's shit during the show. You're already bleeding? <laughs> Those are bruises. I think he's allowed to have those sharp instruments out there though. Those look illegal. Edward Hypodermicans here. Here he is, the heavyweight champion, Dirty Little Hamster, defeating Eddie in the last week of his career, as well as taking home the heavyweight title from Fixer on his way down, trying to lay claim to another belt. Moose Gods, thank you for the follow. Welcome to BOCW Sunday Smackdown. We are in match number five of eight tonight, just past the halfway mark. Hell in a Cell, first blood for the Hardcore Staltar Championship, and think of the host as well.
I did go in and make sure the belt says the correct name on it now. You actually have to edit that outside of Universe because it's dumb like that. Get LP and KSI. Not falling. I'm old. That's some speak that kids use because I don't know. But here we go. Fixer drops more early K's thrown outside the ring by Dustin. DLH, the heavyweight champ, dropped by the hardcore Staltar champion. Nearside, Mork now up on the shoulders of Fixer. And he has power bombed down. Dustin continues the offense on K's, but K's now reverses Dustin down by the cage wall. Dr. Death thrown up and down in the air from DLH. Fixer has Mork on the second rope right side. Comes in chopping everyone back in the ring. Now Fixer goes out on the apron and runs the knee into Mork's face. Dr. Death goes down. This will be a quick end, by the way, everybody. We have to, like, catch who does it because a first blood match has no count. Fixer elbowed into the corner by Mork. Dustin rips away at Kays, but Kays comes back with the elbow. Now Mork goes to work on Fixer right side. Kays jumps up on the shoulder of Dustin, punches away. DLH has Dr. Death down. Mork chops down on Fixer. Dustin kicked by Kays. Over the shoulders goes DLH, and the People's Panda puts him down. Fixer goes in, kicking on Mork. Now grabs him. Dr. Death breaking that up and saving Mork as DLH goes outside. Dr. Death slammed down by Fixer. Fixer caught the bad side of that, though. Somehow, as Dustin's thrown down by Kays. Kays going in, looking for a piece of that force from in the ring as DLH and Dustin look for their breath. Fixer being picked up, but Kays chops down, and now Mork and Kays punching away at Fixer. Everyone punching away at Fixer now. DLH gets back in the ring, finds Dr. Death. Mork picked up by Kays, gives Fixer a breather as he backs off to the corner as Dustin gets up to the side of the apron edge. Now Kays finds Fixer, throws him, no. Not over the edge, knee to the midsection, drops Fixer, Dustin grabs an air and finds nothing. DLH has the people's panda down. Look at that from Kays, countered up in the air. Dustin had him and then Kays elbowed Dustin and put him down. And the suplex from Kays puts Dustin down. Mork trying to get up as Dr. Death goes outside the ring. DLH is there to find him. Dustin lifted up and slammed Welcome down by back. Kays again. Welcome back, sweet Dave. Remain. Kick to the back from Kays on Dustin. DLH thrown into the ring post by Dr. Death. Mork kicking away at Fixer as Kays climbs the ropes, comes down, and that one seems to have landed on Dustin, but he rolls away quickly from the follow-up as Mork comes back with an elbow. Now a punch on Dr. Death. DLH gets back in the ring. Dustin rolls in with a boot to the face of Kays. DLH back outside. Dustin going outside looking for him. Fixer down, and DLH taking advantage. Kays is down. Dr. Death dazed, and Mork picks him up. Now Fixer throws DLH back in the ring. Dustin back in as well. Finds Kays, turns him in half, Throws him down to the canvas. Mork stands and watches now. Waits no longer. Punches. And now kicks Dustin. What's up, Tina? Dr. Death outside the ring. Dustin thrown up in the air and slammed down by Fixer. Dustin picked up by Mork. Off he goes off the turnbuckle. DLH comes in with a big running Larry on Fixer. Sends him down. Fixer needs a break. And now DLH finds Mork. Dr. Death stunned to his feet. Now back in the ring. DLH punched by Mork. Case has Dustin down. Mork locking up DLH on that counter and throws DLH down. Mork... Off the ropes he goes. Up in the air he goes. DLH tried to get out of it, but he couldn't. Now Mork finds Dr. Death. Dr. Death being kind of strangled from behind. Kays stunned by Dustin. Dustin rolls in. The choke comes in on Kays. Fixer trying to get back to his feet. Dr. Death down at the hands of Mork. Kays down. DLH being kicked out by Fixer. Remember, this is first blood. First person cut. Person who does it wins. DLH kicks away at Fixer. Kays dropped by Dustin. The suplex from Mork on Dr. Death. DLH continues to kick away at Fixer. Dustin breaks it up, punching at DLH in the left side far corner. Dr. Death comes back with a counter on the punch from Mork. Now gets in there, but Mork, ready, comes back with a reversal of his own. As Fixer sat back up, thank God his hands are there. Fixer quickly rolls outside the ring. Can't run through K's though, runs back inside. Dustin on his heels as Mork comes back down with another chop on the People's Panda. Fixer thrown over the ropes and out by Dustin. K's coming to his senses as Dr. Death is just getting beat on by Mork in the ring. Kays grabs and misses. Dustin picks Fixer up as DLH gets back up. Another kick from Dustin. Fixer saved and quickly back in the ring. And everyone's back in the ring now. Dr. Death just getting beat on by Mork. Dustin takes kick after kick from Fixer. Now the elbow's broken backwards by Fixer on Dustin. People paying a Dr. Death. Throw down again by Mork who now waits. DLH up on the shoulders of Kays. Dustin comes in punching on Fixer. Fixer comes back with an elbow. Mork rolls in. Dr. Death again up in the air. He goes. Let's him go. Dr. Death goes down. Dustin's flipped down by Fixer. DLH. Need in the head by Kays and still no one cut. Fixer waits. Dustin gets to his feet. Fixer rolls in. The spear lands on Dustin. Now Kays is down and DLH starts kicking away. Mork getting reversed by Dr. Death. He throws himself off the left side ropes and comes running back. And he, boy, up on the shoulders. He goes with his crotch and puts Mork into the ropes. Dustin being 
has his neck twisted by a fixer. Dr. Death looks for someone else to party with. Dustin thrown down. Kays being locked up with a jackhammer by DLH. And Dr. Death breaks it up. Kays still comes crashing down, but Dr. Death saved Kays a little bit as Fixer continues to punch away at Dustin. Dustin being lifted up for the bomb on Fixer's shoulder, but Dustin's going to counter that. Mork trying to get back to his feet. Fixer comes in, but no. Dustin ready grabs Fixer by his head, but Fixer gets out of that and pushes Dustin away. Dr. Death has Kays in the far side left corner. Dustin slammed down. Dr. Death throws Kays down in the middle of the ring, and he's going to line him up for everybody's favorite. Here comes this Skadoosh butt slam. Mork goes rolling in and messes up Dr. Death. Kays clutches his back. Dustin down. Fixer wipes his nose. DLH tries to get back to his feet. Mork swings and misses as Kays throws Dr. Death out of the ring. Dustin being set up for a jackhammer in the ring by Fixer. Fixer has him up in the air. Mork goes outside to join that foursome and down goes Dustin. Dr. Death thrown back to the ring by DLH. Mork up on the shoulders of Kays. Dustin back to his feet. The hands of Fixer and Mork is slammed down to the Mixer logo by Kays. Dr. Death picked back up by DLH. DLH is going to lift him straight up in the air. Slam him down. Dustin slammed down by Fixer, who's exhausted. Dustin going outside, needs a break. Mork being twisted around by K's outside. No one cut yet. Dr. Death picked up again by DLH and setting up for another jackhammer. Fixer wants a piece of Mork, but Mork tied up with K's. Up in the air goes Dr. Death. Jackhammer down again. Dr. Death has to be dead at this point. Fixer went in for a piece of Mork. Mork counter, but K's is there to get a piece of... Mork and now Mork up the shoulders of the Irishman. Dustin still down outside the ring. Dr. Death counters DLH from his knees. Victor backs off and waits as Mork is slammed down by Kays. The Panda Bear pissed off now picks up DLH, slamming him down. Kays has his legs taken out by Mork and now Victor finds Mork. Dr. Death up. Oh my goodness, DLH gets out from underneath it. I think Mork's kick helped him. Dustin swings and misses, but that grabs Victor, slams him down. Now DLH outside up on the turnbuckles. Dr. Death down in the ring. Where's Kays? Dr. Death gets out from underneath DLH. Paying him back for that. Dustin coming in with the boots on Fixer. Kicking away at the midsection. Mork stands and waits. Kays is far side apron edge right where DLH just rolled to. And Dr. Death rolls up and just tackles Mork. Dustin rolls in with a choke on Fixer. Mork down at the hands of Dr. Death. Up and down at the choke slam goes Fixer. And now Dustin rolls in on Fixer. Thank God his leg's there. Mork picks up Dr. Death in the middle of the ring. Fixer comes back with a counter punch from his backside. Kays breaks up Mork and Dr. Death and three people fall down to the canvas. Mork goes right back for more of the Panda Bear and Kays breaks that up again. Now Kays rolls in and says, I want this guy. Grabs Dr. Death and throws him out of the ring. Fixer has Dustin lining him up for another jackhammer. Up in the air goes Dustin. Down goes Dustin the jackhammers. DLH is back to his feet. DLH kneed in the face by Mork. Kays punching away the people's Panda but Dr. Death throws away another punch. Now Dustin Slams down, Fixer rolls in with a kick off the ropes. Mork thrown back in the ring by DLH. Dr. Death down in the hands of K's out by the Mixer logo. Dustin kicking away at Mork. I don't think he's hitting him though. DLH picking up Mork. Fixer back to his feet in the hands of Dustin. K's thrown back in the ring by Dr. Death. Fixer picked up by Dustin. Mork has his elbow kicked at by DLH. And Dustin slams down Fixer. Dr. Death up on the second rope. DLH grabs Mork. Up on the shoulder, shoulders goes Mork, and he's powerbombed down. Kays finds the People's Panda with Fixer down. Oh, and there it was. Someone just got cut. It was Dr. Death, and Kays cut him. Kays, first blood winner, reclaims Hardcore Staltar. One bet placed, and it was K's. Take your tributes. 1,200 tributes for K's. K's. Two built K's again, but can he hold on to it? He has a Phil's Big Wheel defense later on tonight in the Corral of Calamity. But he survives first blood in Hell in a Cell. First time ever in BOCW. And Kay says, that's mine in case you forgot. We roll into the first ever eight-man tag team match. The way this works is there are two teams. The, split it down the middle. The Horsemen and Paradox are one team. The Mosh Potatoes and Metalocalypse are one team. Whichever team wins, they face each other Thursday for a chance at Triple S. 
You are betting on which team gets the win. So Paradox is Jamal and Lyndon. The Horsemen are Clown and Fixer. The Mosh Potatoes are Dustin and Dr. Death. And Metalocalypse are Mork and Money Manuel. Here we go. You are betting on who gets the pin. I wish Fix was here. But I am here. The first ever 4v4 team match in BOCW history. The Horsemen, now the Mosh Potatoes, the favorites. The tassels are for titties. Here we go. Thirty seconds left. Horsemen one. Mosh Potatoes two. Paradox three. Metalocalypse four. Again, you're betting on who gets the pin. Here they are, the four horsemen first in. Four horsemen are Lay Down Clown and Lord High Fixer. Council Glue, what's up? Welcome to BOCW Sunday SmackDown. We are in match six of eight. Four v four for a chance to face the winning team will face each other on Thursday for a chance at the tag team title. Horsemen teaming up with Paradox in this 4v4 tag team palooza. Bill, what? Strange things are afoot at the circle. Very appropriate. Yes, they are. It's mosh potatoes, sweet Dave. There they are, Paradox, the other half of the team with the Four Horsemen. Jamal and Lyndon SG. Motherfucking sucking cold Jesus Christ. 32 tributes in the swear jar. We will be awarding that this Thursday, right? Or no, next Sunday. Next Sunday. We'll be awarding the swear jar at the end of next week's show. I'll tell you this much, it won't just be 32 tributes. But that will be determine what we multiply it against. <gasps> Sweet Dave. Eight tributes from Ash. That's one half.
come the mosh potatoes. I am put it there. Crack me up every time that look Dr. Death gives the camera. There they are, the Mod Potatoes, Dr. Death, the People's Panda, and all that, Dustin. And <laughs> pretty much, I forgot that was there, it cracks me up. Uh, incontrovertibly buff. I wish Fix was here. But I am here, Perm. Man, they ain't happy with these guys. You can hear the boos for Mosh Potatoes. That's something. Boxing Panda, kinda. Kinda peanut swing. Always be yourself. Unless it's the look you again. Can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn. Bald is beautiful, says the sign behind him. The last two to make their way down to the ring for this 4v4 8 man tag team. Again, the winning team faces each other. They'll split apart and face each other Thursday night for a chance at Triple S in the tag team title. Bets placed in chat are on who gets the pin, which actual tag team gets the pin. But here comes Metalocalypse. These were the top four contenders for tag team. Nope. So, four people on a team. The winning team then breaks into two teams, and they face each other, and that winning team moves forward to Triple S. So, if Mosh Potatoes and Metalocalypse win, they face each other Thursday. The winner of that match faces Triple S. Math! I know we haven't done it this way before. This was a good way to give eight wrestlers a chance at that tag team title. Always be yourself. Wow. Someone loves the unicorn button, don't they? Metalocalypse stands in the ring to join forces with the Moss Potatoes against the Horsemen and Paradox. Mosh. Kind of a joke. Yes, Tina. But here we go. Four-man tag team. Fixer and Dustin in the ring to start it off. Nope. Excellent. Dustin slammed down by Fixer. Over by the far side corner is all I can call it. There aren't teammates for these guys. Dustin now up against the ropes. Whipped all the way over. Comes back. Fixer comes in with the boot and drops Dustin. Now stomps away at him in the ring. Dustin choked by Fixer in the ring. Money Manuel standing right in the camera shot. But Dustin gets free. Fixer down. 
But Fixer right back to work on Dustin, picking him up. And just slamming Dustin down. Fixer in control. Dustin picked back up. Fixer kicks away at Dustin on the right side ropes. As the camera zooms in and now Mork's in the way. Dustin lifted up. Slammed back down by Fixer who has dominated early. Dr. Death and Mork both wanted the tag. Fixer continues to kick away at Dustin. This one might take a while. Dustin comes back with a counter. Puts Fixer down to the canvas and Dustin backs off. As Dustin goes over the pin. Dustin makes the tag to his mosh potatoes partner. Dr. Death gets in. Stares at Fixer. Fixer gets the better of Dr. Death. Throws him over the ropes. And now Fixer goes outside and the count starts. There's no way to get around the count. I have to make a custom match. Dustin's out there too picking on Fixer. It's the Mosh Potatoes versus Fixer. It's Fixer's thrown into the ring post. Dr. Death and Fixer, the active wrestlers. Dustin picking up Fixer on a three count. Fixer, though, says no. Reverses and suplex Dustin down. Dr. Death still active, trying to get behind Fixer. He grabs him. Fixer comes back with an elbow counter on Dr. Death. Runs in, Those picks up Dr. Death and throws him down. Must move on. The count goes to six. Dr. Death and Fixer, the active wrestlers. And Dustin... About to get choked by Fixer. Up in the air goes Dustin. Dr. Death breaking this up, and this might this one might end badly. Fixer can't get in the ring. Thanks to Money Man Will. Fixer still can't get in the ring. Dr. Death gets in. Dr. Death goes back outside. Nine goes the count. Is anyone going to get in the ring? We're going to rematch this. Fixer thrown in the ring. And the count went to three, and everyone's back in. Fixer quickly makes the tag. Paradox in the ring. Everyone else jumps off and Paradox, Jamal goes after Dr. Death and right back outside the ring he goes. No championship on the line here, so a count out will count. Yep, it is what happened. Count goes to two, Jamal outside with Dr. Death. Dr. Death picked up by Jamal, taken over to the edge of the apron, just dropped, panda face first. Jamal has Dr. Death way away from his corner. Now Jamal kicks Dr. Death in, his, Death in the back. Fixer trying to get up. Jamal locks up Dr. Death, but he comes back punching with the counter to the midsection. Fixer standing back up now. Turns around and finds Dr. Death and says, how do you like it when you get double teamed? Dr. Death says, I like it a lot. Comes back with an elbow counter. Puts Fixer back into the staircase. Yeah, welcome to... You don't get to just roll in here and say stuff like that. Now Dr. Death being derped by Linden. He can't get back in the ring. Jamal and Fixer trying to put the panda bear between the legs of Lyndon SG. Now Fixer still can't get Dr. Death in there. Jamal's the active wrestler out there with Dr. Death. Dr. Death just being slammed into... <laughs> Jamal gets back in smartly. Dr. Death comes back with a counter. And Team Jamal walks away with it. <laughs> Dr. Death was just thrown over and over and over and over and over. In the defeat of Lyndon SG. It will be Paradox and the Four Horsemen to face each other. Jamal got in the ring. He was the active wrestler. He's your winner. Squirrel and Spanky taking him home. Motherfucking <laughs> sucking coal. Jesus Christ. You're lame, Mork. Next match on the way, Phil's Big Wheel. Fixed. Of course. Phil's Big Wheel in the cage. What's going on? Welcome back, Mort. Jet. I love Jet. Jet gives me the Jerry voice. Fair enough. That was an experiment. We gotta turn the, the count ops off next Another time. Another soul battered and general. broken. Here we Test go for Phil's Big like Wheel, says Kaze, Jamal on the left, Squirrel, then Dr. Death, then the defending champion Kaze, belt on the line, 500 tributes is your max bet, min 10, you have 90 seconds. Dr. Death just wheeled himself into every match tonight, he was already in hardcore, he got, he got, no, he spun in.
Case picked you. Because Case can't read. He's Irish. I mean, he's probably drunk. Oh, yeah, you'll notice all of the ranks have now been changed over to represent uh, Spartan, like, formation ranks. So it'd be great if it took his belt again, says Dr. Death. Four men enter. One man climbs out. Four fills big wheel. If Kays wins this, he'll be halfway home. But first, the Intercontinental Champion, who you will see in the next match, OG Killer Squirrel in first. It's tribute. Is rank work? Yeah, it's tributes. I don't think I had a rank command. Tributes will tell you your rank, how much you have, and what day you started following. One handy command. Betting closed. Cajun Squirrel, the favorites at three. Dr. Death with two bets and Jamal with one. That belt, the Intercontinental Championship, on the line in the next match. Squirrel defending against Rocket. Squirrel, the number one wrestler in BOCW power rankings right now. He's actually not wearing the Intercontinental Madness. Championship match. He's wearing a tag team friend. belt. Triple S, also tag team champions. You will see who gets there between the Horsemen and Paradox. Thursday night. We already know who's facing Peace Bunks. That will be the Widowmakers. Not really. You hold two core belts, Intercontinental and Tag Team. So must a guarantee you'll be number one. You will endure this loss and learn from it. Here he is. You just saw him get thrown into the legs of Linden SG 20 times. Built by Permacorp. It is the People's Panda one more time. Dr. Death. One more match to go after this one for the Intercontinental Championship. <laughs> they got to reinforce the inside of that uh, panda face. So I think you guys liked the first blood match, right? Want to see that come back around? Jamal successfully played the delay tactic in the eight-man tag team down the ramp. Yeah, we're going to fix that. Now that I know, I wanted to see what it was like. First run fair for everybody. I mean, no matter who derped and how it derped, there was going to be a winner. But we'll try to I remove the derpiness the next time we do that. Me enough to wash your damn car. Jamal, king of hardcore. Also has the fan favorite perk on his way to the ring. They will go into the cage. There is no pin. There will be no submission. They must climb out. In the early days of BSCW, he can pin and submit inside the cage. is pretty dumb. Jamal up on the ropes, poses. The People's Panda already down the ramp, as is Squirrel, the Intercontinental Champion. Last 
wrestler to make his way down will be the Phil's Big Wheel defending champion, Kays. Also, for the third time tonight, losing to Eddie. Simply had his ass handed to him by Eddie. Came back, reclaimed hardcore. Now looking to defend Phil's Big Wheel for the first time. We can watch all 38 seconds of that replay case. I'm not sure how long it was. I'll have to look when I download it. The record for BOCW is 39 seconds. We'll see if Eddie now holds that record. But Kays goes on the enemies list, too. We have his name put on the back of Eddie's shirt. Myself a nice big note. So do not forget. I don't know. From from ring, ringing of the bell, the ringing of the first bell to when the winner appears on the screen is how I'll count the record. Kay's gonna have to buy a new belt. This thing doesn't fit. Kay's defense here will be defense number one of three needed to get his name emblazoned on the Phil's Big Wheel belt forever. Can he do it? No, says Squirrel. <laughs> Only three wrestlers ever have, and it's been a while. Sweet Dave, the last one to do it. That belt on the line. The cage comes down. There's Squirrel, Dr. Death, Jamal, and the defending champion, Kays. Squirrel and Jamal pair off. Jamal finds Squirrel, takes him down to the canvas. Dr. Death twists the next with Kays and slams him down. Jamal walks in, legs in hand, and kicks away at the midsection of the Intercontinental Champion. Now Dr. Death lifted up after a punch and slammed down by Kays. Jamal takes Squirrel straight up and down, slams him on his back. Kays, no, the People's Panda kicks him in his face. Now Dr. Death lets legs fall. Face stunner to the face of K's Squirrel gut busted over the knee of Jamal. Jamal and Dr. Death in control early. But Squirrel comes back with a counter reversal throwing Jamal down. K is still in the clutches. The People's Panda lifted up and slammed down to Squirrel again. Rolls Jamal over. Jamal now being kicked by Squirrel. The elbows roll in on the leg lock from the People's Panda on K's. Jamal on one knee. Squirrel tries to get to him. The People's Panda in the way. Dr. Death sits K's back up. Jamal. Lifted up by his britches and slammed down right in the middle of Kays and Dr. Death. The Panda punches Kays one more time and brings him back to his feet. Squirrel lifting Kays up. Up in the air, grabs on leg and lets, lets Jamal fly. Squirrel continues to kick away at Jamal. Kays now getting the better of Dr. Death near side, punching it right in his face. Grabbing him from behind as Squirrel punches Jamal. Dr. Death slammed down again by Kays. Jamal says no. Locks that leg on the lift attempt, punches Squirrel, now has him grappled. Kays going back after Dr. Death with another punch. Jamal squats and flips Squirrel over, slamming him down far side ropes. Dr. Death comes back with a counter punch and now a big kick to the face of Kays. And now it's Dr. Death and Jamal. Dr. Death over to the ropes. Squirrel blocks the punch from Jamal, comes back with a counter punch. Now rolls in, but Jamal was ready, sends him to the side and flips him over, slamming him down. Now Dr. Death looks at the cage wall and Jamal's right there. Jamal says, where are you going? Grabs Dr. Death by his boot, throws him back in the ring. Jamal climbs up on the ropes, slams down. I think he missed. And now Squirrel will take advantage, picking up Jamal. Dr. Death comes back, plants a leg and knees Kays in the midsection. Squirrel does the same thing to Jamal. Kays slammed down by the People's Panda. A swirling elbow comes running on Jamal. They both grab a miss. And now Squirrel will get a better of Jamal's. Another leg lock is in on Kays and the elbows land. Another one leg slam from Squirrel sends Jamal down on his midsection. Up in the air goes Squirrel with a leg drop. That one lands. Dr. Kays tried to land an eye poke. That one missed, but it still did some damage. And Dr. Death 
Hayes slams him down. Jamal back to his feet. Woozy Squirrel comes in with a chop. Oh, look at that. Jamal sidestep. Kays wants the belt. Squirrel says, mm -mm. ain't going to be that easy this time. Grabs the arm of Kays after bringing him back down. Throws him down. Kays back to his feet. The hands of Squirrel. Dr. Death picked up by Jamal. Jamal takes Dr. Death. Throws him off the rope. Kays down and crawling away from Squirrel. Dr. Death with a counter on Jamal. Dr. Death runs in, tackles Jamal, and just starts hacking away at his face. Kays back to one knee. Squirrel comes in, punching. Dr. Death rolls in on Jamal. Squirrel with a roundhouse kick. Another kick and another kick from Squirrel. And Kays is sent flying. Jamal whipped to the near side corner by Dr. Death. Squirrel trying to get out of the ring. And Dr. Death was way ahead of him. Trying to grab him before he even started climbing. And now Dr. Death has Squirrel grabbing him. Throwing him over to the far side corner. Kays saw Jamal just sitting there. Rolls in with the arm bar. Now Kays up on the ropes with Jamal down. Dr. Death says, I didn't get to do this earlier. I will get one of these off per show, per contract. Kays jumps off the ropes. Lands down. And now Kays goes back to the ropes. as a skadoosh butt slam. Lands on Squirrel. Kays jumps down. Jamal quickly gets out of the way of that one. Dr. Death just kicking away as Squirrel. Rolls away. Comes back with a kick of his own. Kays up on the shoulders of Jamal. Squirrel grabs the people's panda, but has his ears clapped with two big paws. Now Jamal starts to climb. Dr. Death sees it, so does Squirrel. Dr. Death. Oh, man, Squirrel tried to break that up, and now Dr. Death starts to make the climb, and Squirrel's on his heels as K slams Jamal down. Dr. Death made it about halfway up, and Squirrel grabs him by his feet, dragging him back down to the ring, and Squirrel backs off in the corner. Jamal slammed down again by K's. Yep, pretty much that's what's going on. Kays with the leg throw reverse on Jamal, puts him down, and now Kays, no one looking, eyes up the cage while he's making his climb. Dr. Death sees him, gets over to him, grabs him by that orange boot, and brings him back down to the ring. <laughs> yes, yes, no. Still anyone's match. Jamal picked up by Squirrel. Squirrel takes Jamal over to the ropes as Kays slams down the people's panda. And now Squirrel going to start the climb. Kays gave up on the move with Dr. Death, and he's going to try to get behind Squirrel. He is up on the ropes. He's climbing next to Squirrel. He's going to grab Squirrel around the waist and bring him back to Earth. Jamal flipped over by Dr. Dr. Death by the BOCW logo. Squirrel sat up by Kays. Dr. Death waits as a leg lock goes in on Squirrel, and Kays delivers the elbow. Dr. Death can literally turn around and climb out of the ring, and he's not doing it. Kays continues to work on Squirrel. Squirrel with the reversal. Slams down Kays. Dr. Death waits for Jamal to get up. Still waiting. He's completely derped out and has his face planted. The backbreaker lands on Kays and Jamal. Kays is dropped. Jamal starts to climb. Squirrel on his heels. Can Squirrel get there? Squirrel's right there with Jamal. Jamal grabbed by Squirrel. Squirrel around the waist and Jamal comes crashing back to planet Earth. Now Dr. Death up on the ropes with Jamal down. Decides better. And now Squirrel starts to climb and Dr. Death says, get over here. And takes Squirrel and throws him back down in. Kays starts to climb the cage and Dr. Death says how many people do I need to say get back in the ring to now Squirrel swings and misses Jamal stirs K's in the hands of the people's panda thrown to the far side corner Jamal back to his feet Squirrel goes after him K's turned around Jamal reversing Squirrel locks the leg and plants Squirrel's face down and Dr. Death says it's time for some more skadoosh butt slam this will be a prime chance for Jamal to climb out and he's going to take it no one challenging Jamal the butt slam lands. Jamal halfway up the cage walls. Dr. Death going to do something about it. Squirrel's over there too. Now Squirrel's going to get up there and handle Jamal. And Dr. Death says, raise the roof. And Jamal brought back to the canvas by Squirrel. Dr. Death eyes up the cage. And Squirrel is there and says, no, get back in the ring. And there have been so many pull down. And look at this. It's a race. Kays and Squirrel not looking at each other. Kays with one hand ahead of Squirrel right now. They're over and at the top. There's a race under, and Kays and Squirrel are neck and neck, and Squirrel's a little bit faster, and Squirrel's over. Squirrel's on his way down to the bottom of the cage first. Can Kays get to the bottom first? It looks like it's going to be Squirrel. Squirrel at the bottom first, and OG Killer Squirrel walks away with Bill's big wheel. Second time in a row we've had a race. Fixed. Literally, we can't control who's faster there. Can't help you're 300 pounds. Roll your winner. Sweet Dave Squirrel and Mork taking on the tributes. I'm surprised they didn't grab each other, but the way they animated, I knew they were racing.
Squirrel now. Rebelt Squirrel. Phil's big wheel in his pocket until next Sunday. Intercontinental on the line next. Tag teams coming up soon. One more match to go for the Intercontinental Championship. Staltar and Eddie are two different things. No idea, Lunatic. Uh, we're not moving to it anytime soon. There it is. Thank you, Mads. It would, it's like 40 hours worth of work to transfer us over. Rocket, the challenger, on the left. Squirrel, the defending champion, on the right. Riding a belt win. Max bet is a 1,000. 90 seconds. Here we go. Main event, POCW, Sunday SmackDown. Squirrel, the favorite. I don't think your bet registered, Dirty One. We did Dustin's. Plus, Eddie's just chewing through it. There it goes. One ninety six. Is that all you got, Dustin? This match scheduled for one fall. 30 seconds left. Rocket option one. Squirrel option two. Squirrel the heavy favorite. Thanks, Lunatic. Letting it ride. <laughs> Dustin's all in on the 196 tributes. Rocket earned this chance to be here in, what was it, the eight-man Royal Rumble Thursday night. Holy shit, worked by a thousand on Rocket. Can Rocket get it done? Wow. Unseat Squirrel. That is true, but I am the victim of ex just, I'm being targeted, Dr. Death. I get it. Extortion. Rocket in the ring. Bets closed. Rocket. Four bets placed for sixteen forty six. Squirrel eight bets placed for seventeen fifty. Can Rocket get the job done? Squirrel is gonna be riding high from a win one match prior. And now opening for Iron Maiden, Wild Stallions. That should be a tag team name right there, Wild Stallions. That'd be awesome. Rocket in the ring, waiting for Squirrel, and here comes the Intercontinental Champion. Can Squirrel defend? This belt has not been defended successfully in the last three matches for it. There is the Intercontinental Champion, OG Killer Squirrel. 
making his first defense of the belt. Squirrel defend or will Rocket take it away on the first defense chance for OG Killer Squirrel? Squirrel claimed the belt on a count out and got into the unified match off of it. The hands of Wesley Wolf. Squirrel now looking to defend it. There will be no count out in this match. That belt right there on the line. Rocket looks poised. Has the stare down going. Those are some evil ass eyes, squirrel. Just stands in, looks confident. Looks like he's supposed to be there. That belt about to be handed to the referee. Or after Squirrel celebrates it with at least, or at least one more time, he may get to kick, take it home with him. We'll see. The ref takes it away. Nah. Shows it's a rocket. Main event time. Rocket, much bigger than Squirrel, has to put that weight to his advantage. Ding, ding, here we go. And Squirrel quickly gets the rocket, grabs up, and Brent comes in with a backbreaker. Now Squirrel goes outside the ring. Remember, this is extreme rules now for the core belts. No more normal rules matches. Rocket back to his feet. Squirrel has a chair underneath the, the ring. Rocket trying to get to Squirrel first. Grabs the chair on the swing attempt. Throws it to the side. Squirrel stunned by that. Rocket gets behind Squirrel, but Squirrel with a quick reversal. And now Squirrel jumping up and brings Rocket back down to the canvas again. Now Squirrel... Turns it aside, jumps up in the air, and just drops the shin into the face of Rocket. Squirrel in control early in the match. Rocket whipped over the far side ropes on the way back. Rocket breaks it up, though. Now Rocket grabs Squirrel. And you will never know what I said. It's like a Bullwinkle episode. Rocket... Mm, duh. Rocket picks up Squirrel, comes up with a hip splitter. Now Squirrel's down, and Rocket rolls in with a choke. Squirrel choked, now sat back up by Rocket. Rocket rolls in, Squirrel on one knee, too tired to move. Rocket punches. Squirrel, though, gets some energy back. Rocket didn't do much there, but Rocket comes back with a counter punch of his own. And now Squirrel picked up by Rocket. And thrown all the way to the near corner by Intent Rocket 9. Rocket prays to Satan in the middle of the match. Squirrel down, and Rocket rolls in with the knee, and Squirrel is hurt. That one hit the face, and now Squirrel's grabbing his back, his knee, and his face. Card game rolling in chat. Last one of the night. Exclamation point gamble to get in on that. Rocket punches the Squirrel again. Squirrel again with a counter from his knee. Punches Rocket back. Rolls in. Jumps up on Rocket and punches away. Rocket taken back to his feet by Squirrel. Squirrel grabs Rocket by the head. Now takes Rocket over the far side turnbuckle and starts throwing Rocket's face off the BOCW logo on the turnbuckle pad. And Rocket stumbles back into the ring. Squirrel goes for a grab that misses. Rocket back to one knee. Squirrel gets right behind Rocket. Comes with a backbreaker on the knee. Kicks away at Rocket's elbow. And Squirrel back in control of the match. Rocket lifted up into a submission hold. Rocket needs to get free. Will Squirrel make Rocket submit? 
No. Rocket throws the arms aside, gets behind Squirrel, sweeps the legs out. Rocket did grab his face there, though, and now Rocket picks up Squirrel. Another big toss from Rocket. Lands Squirrel on the apron edge, and Rocket says, get up. Squirrel on the outside of the ropes, clamoring to stand up. Rocket waits. Squirrel holding on barely. Rocket rolls in, punches Squirrel right off the apron edge, and again, praise to Satan. Squirrel down. Rocket goes outside the ring. Stands on the apron edge, waiting for Squirrel to get up. Says, get up again. Walks the length of the apron, waiting for Squirrel. Runs, jumps, and a big clothesline lands. And Squirrel's drop back down to the floor. And Rocket goes looking underneath the apron. Squirrel still down. A pull cue comes out of the hands of a 10. Rocket 9. Rocket walks back around near side by the barricade wall. Comes in <laughs> swinging. I think that one hit. That one definitely did. And Squirrel's dropped again. Another swing and a miss strike one. Rocket says, I don't know how this works anymore, but picks it right back up. Says, nope, I forget. Goes after Squirrel again, kicking. Squirrel still down by that near barricade wall. Rocket picking Squirrel back up, but Squirrel, with enough time to recover, comes back with a face breaker. Squirrel grabs Rocket now over by that right ring post, and now Squirrel in control. Rocket drugged back to his feet. Squirrel throws Rocket back in the ring. Jesus Christ. 35 tributes in there now. Now Squirrel has Rocket standing up, kicks Rocket in the ring. Arm over the neck, lifting Rocket up, flips Rocket like a pancake, not going for the pin. Rocket down, Squirrel trying to finish the job here, gets behind Rocket, grabs one boot, but Rocket turned over, ready, comes back, kicking to the face, and now Rocket runs in the corner, and boom, headbutt, running, diving headbutt into OG Killer Squirrel, down again, and Rocket goes right back outside the ring, picks up the chair. Back in the ring comes Rocket. Squirrel looking for the ropes. Rocket comes in. Swings and Squirrel grabs on the way in. The chair's thrown sideways again. Rocket stunned. Squirrel goes punching away at the backside of Rocket. Now Squirrel sets up his finisher. Coming in with kick after kick. It drops Rocket to the far side left corner. Now Squirrel goes for the win and the belt defense. And on the two count, Squirrel can't get it done. Rocket gets a shoulder up. Nope, I won't be unfair to Tina's tribute. She has a wrestler in BOCW. Squirrel picks Rocket back up. Arm over the shoulder again. Another big up and over from Squirrel, and Rocket's in trouble. Squirrel kicks away at the midsection of Intent Rocket 9. Sits Rocket back up. A kick drops Rocket back down to the canvas. Rocket not rolling outside, though. Squirrel rolls in with another knee. That one drops in the midsection of Rocket's back. Now Squirrel goes for the pin and the retention. Can Rocket get up? On the two count, Rocket kicks out. What's up, Fatal Broom? Rocket needs to recover here. Squirrel locks up the legs. Starts rolling in for the elbows. Fatal Broom, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the main event of BOCW Sunday SmackDown. Rocket counters that. Rolls in. Grabs Squirrel by the arm. Throws Squirrel over the ropes. Rocket lines him up. Runs and Squirrel goes flying outside again. Grabbing his midsection out by the Mixer logo. Rocket stands in control of the ring with Squirrel down and a Rocket. Looking for something to do. Decides to roll outside and follow up on Squirrel. Kicks away and Squirrel now in trouble. Rocket kicks away at the elbow. Squirrel rolls away. Rocket picks Squirrel up. Comes in and chops down on Squirrel's back and he flattens out. Rocket continues to kick. Rocket control kicking Squirrel's back again. That chair just sitting there. Now Squirrel grabs, gets grabbed and thrown back in the ring by Rocket. Squirrel down. Rocket did a lot of damage outside. Goes to the pin of the title. Oh, and that wasn't even a one count. Barely a one count, and Squirrel kicks out. Rocket rolls in, chopping away at the shoulder, now kicking away. Squirrel still in trouble. Back to his feet, stunned. Rocket rolls in another tumble, and that one, that shoulder puts Squirrel down, but Rocket's tired. Rocket backs off. Sets the side of the head to the side, and stomps down on Squirrel. Now picks Squirrel up. Squirrel still stunned. Rocket... Picks up Squirrel up on the shoulders he goes. Oh man, that's a pile driver and Squirrel's head hit the canvas hard. Rocket rolls in for the title one more time. And your new Intercontinental Champion is Intent Rocket 9. Well done, Rocket. The dirty one, Tina, Dustin, and Mork with a huge payday. Gets his thousand back, plus 956 more. Rocket, your new 
Intercontinental Champion. That's your first belt? There's no way that's your first belt. Rocket claims the Intercontinental Championship on a hell of a match. That will do it for BOCW Sunday SmackDown. If you guys had fun and you've been lurking, do me a favor, hit the follow button. We're back Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. For Thursday Night Thunder, we will have Hardcore Staltar on the line one more time, as well as both Mixer Chat Championships. On that note, Mixer Chat Championship only has two women in it on top of the champion, so it's a triple threat right now with three spots still open. It's a dollar sign joint event 13. Uh, we already have, I think, Queen Death and Peace Rebellion in there. Council of Blue will see you Thursday night. Well, then that's just you, Mork. I mean, I can't help that. I can't help your youth. <laughs> that you're being here, guys. Let's go find someone awesome to host. Quite a few people in here. You guys come up with a hashtag while I find someone for us to go rolling on. Outlaw Raid works. We'll use Outlaw Raid. Let's see who we're going to go menace. How about Jork? Been hanging out in Jork's chat a little bit lately. Let's go, uh, let's go give Jork some, uh, some love. He does not have a uh, no raids or raid friendly or anything. So we're going to go in there. He's got 20 people watching him play Ring of Elysium, which is a PC only sort of alpha version of PUBG. It's, uh, it's a little different. But you guys have a great night. We're going to get you over to Jork and uh, we will nope, talk nope, to you nope, 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 in everyone nope, else's stream nope, and on nope, Thursday night nope, at 8 p.m. Nope, 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 That's what I'm doing. So we will talk to you later, everybody.